Hey guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2013 Cadillac Escalade Premium All-Wheel Drive. This one is finished off in a white diamond exterior, which looks so good on the Escalade. This is such a beautiful metallic color in the sun. As you can see on the exterior of this one, you do have your tinted privacy glass in the rear, of course, your body-colored door handles, as well as your body-colored and chrome-accented mirrors on this one. This one is equipped with blind spot monitoring. They also are uh, power-folding mirrors. You have more chrome trim around your windows as well as some piano black right there. Up top, this one does have a sunroof as well as your roof rails. Also in typical Escalade fashion, you have your power running boards beneath the doors and your fuel cap is on the driver's side. Dual exhaust on the rear, rear parking sensors, rear backup camera. Escalade badge right there and you do have this trim on the bumper to protect things loading them in and out. Typical Escalade fashion too and one of my favorite things is you can pop the rear glass. Just press and hold, and it will open just like that. And then right here, the trunk is power. Once again, press and hold, and it will open just like that. Press and hold again on the key, and it will bring it back down. On this side, this one is riding on Bridgestone tires. They are P28545 R22, so you do have 22 inch wheels on this one. Rear disc brakes, of course. This is just your classic American luxury SUV. There's just something about these Escalades. You can also see running down the side of the vehicle, this one does have a pinstripe, which looks very nice. Up front, you do have projector headlights, your fog lights down below. It does have remote start. Make sure it's locked and press and hold. And on the key fob itself, you do have lock, unlock, your remote start, panic, and as I showed, your trunk release as well as glass release. Stepping inside, when you open the door, power running board will drop down. And this one does have the cashmere leather interior. Full power driver's seat and your Cadillac door sills. Steering wheel as well is power tilting. To start, just insert the key. Go ahead and close the door. Inside you can see you do have a leather wrap steering wheel with your wood grain around the exterior. Nice and light power steering of course. On this side of the wheel is your cruise control, heated steering wheel controls. On this side you have your audio system controls. On the door, all padded material up here, you have your padded stitched leather, more leather around your armrest, and all four of your automatic windows, power locks, power mirrors, power folding mirrors as well. Storage down below, as well as a bottle holder. You have your headlight controls over here, they are automatic. Turn your fog lights on from right there. Your gauge shimmer, which will also, when you crank it all the way up, turn on all of your dome lights. And you do have your dome light off right here as well. More storage. On the dash itself, you have some aluminum trim around everything, as well as the wood grain, of course. You can see the gauges in the middle, which are the beautiful silver with the blue dials. The sun's just kind of directly on them at the moment. But you can see your center display. You do have your outside temperature compass, as well as uh, right here. This one is does have just over 60,000 miles. This one has just under 61,000 miles on it. Tachometer, engine temperature, as well as your fuel gauge and speedometer on that side. And this one does have the six speed automatic transmission. Manual mode, which you can shift from right there. Reverse, this one does have a rear backup camera. Dashboard, it's a rubberized material in the Escalade as well. In the middle, like I said, the aluminum trim, you have your analog clock. Different controls around here for your trip computer, different gauge settings, things like that. Your display right here, AM, FM, uh, satellite radio, disc, auxiliary in, everything else. The stereo on this one too is the Bose audio system and it sounds great. Um, like I said, your gauge controls, you do have your traction control on and off, parking sensors on and off, CD slot right there, all of your different controls for the radio. Bring the navigation up. You have your dual zone automatic climate control down below, heated seats for the driver and passenger, as well as cooled seats for the driver and passenger. Power pedal controls right here, as well as you do have what looks like your blind spot monitoring on and off by that control. 
more of the wood grain, both of your covers, two cup holders right there, and some storage up underneath of that cover as well as a power outlet. Back here, padded leather armrest, wood grain, and some storage right here in the middle. Perfect place to put a phone or something like that. Inside, it is dual tier. You have both of your wireless headphone sets for the rear entertainment system, as well as down below, storage inside of there. You do have your USB port, as well as a power outlet. Seating in this one is insanely comfortable. I mean, it's an Escalade. High quality leather. You have the perforations in the middle and the stitching around the edges, and it looks great. Auto dimming review mirror up top with your OnStar and everything else. Your visors with vanity mirrors and your vanity lighting built in. Microphones on the side for your Bluetooth as well. All of your different controls in the middle for the uh, sunroof, things like that. Your garage home link, interior lighting. We'll step out of this one. And pop the hood right there. Inside of the rear seat, just go ahead and open it from right here. Everything follows through on the door material quality wise with your padded leather and everything like that. To access the third row, just come right here, release, and the seat will flip up and fold forward. So you can easily access the third row. We'll even bring it back. And I mean, I'm 6'2". It's a bit of a low floor, but in the middle, I've got plenty of space. I can fit behind here. You could easily sit six people in this car. Comfortable third row, same uh, nice leathers up front, and this folds flat and is even removable, so you can just have a trunk. You have your armrest on the side, cup holders, things like that. Different retainers for the seatbelt, and then to exit. Same controls, very nice and easy. I mean, this one being the Tahoe-based non-ESV model, there's still plenty of space inside. Step into the second row. Back here, you do have captain chairs once again with the leather armrests on each side, as well as your all-weather mat right here. You do have two cup holders, as well as right here is your radio, everything else you can control for the rear passengers, rear entertainment, things like that. You have your rear climate controls fan speed and everything else and it is independent from up front as well as heated rear seats your AV inputs and a power outlet and you can tell this one was taken care of it wasn't someone who let their kids get back here and tear things up because this is always the first thing to go in these Escalades is this cover people just seem to always manage to break these off but this one is still intact back seat pockets on each side as well as your rear entertainment system up top it is your typical GM Panasonic monitor. You can see your rear air vents. Same goes for the third row. Inside the trunk, at least right there. And you can see that's the amount of space you have with the third row up, but to fold it down, very nice and simple, just drop it from right there, and right here, you can lift it up and actually out of the way, and then three, pull right there, and you can actually remove it. And to release it, press two. You can see it's all clearly labeled. Right there is the removal. Back here though, everything follows through. You have your Cadillac trim down below. This one does include the rest of your all weathers and you do have a 12 volt outlet right there. To release the glass from the trunk itself, just come up, push right here. And that will open up.
power running board on the passenger side, of course. And same operation for the third row. Press right there. And it will flip up just like that. Up front, you do have a power passenger seat, Cadillac door sills. Inside of here, this is all nice and felt lined. This one does include all of your owner's literature inside of there, as well as your state inspection certificate. And up front, you can see the projector HID headlights, as well as under the hood. This one does have GM 6.2 liter V8. Everything under here is in great shape, running fantastic. You can tell this one has been in a good climate too. These definitely do get rusty and it will show under the hood when they haven't been. But this one is all in great shape. Bring the automatic driver side window back up and just cut it off right here. A little chime reminding you to remove the key and cut the headlights back in automatic mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.